Well, uh, I'm going to bottle up some rabbit, so I decided to uh, make a video of it as well. And right here, I got a case of uh, uh, a 12 500 uh, milliliter uh, wide moot jars. And wide moot jars are great for uh, bottling rabbit or most anything because uh, it's really easy getting the food out of the bottle after. Uh, for example, this jar here, you see that the bottle is bigger and around than opening and so sometimes uh, you know uh, a little trickier getting the food out without, uh, without breaking it apart and right here I got uh, I got five yeah five rabbits there cleaned up uh, but I'm only going to do whatever uh, whatever jars I can get in this boiler here probably four uh, in this video I'm going to show you uh, how I fill up the bottles and, and what I use uh, but where I cook uh, with the water bath method, I won't show all that because this is not actually recommended for cooking meat in bottles anymore. Uh, but rates they say you should use a pressure cooker, but this is the way that we've always done around here, and we never had no trouble with it. So, but uh, I won't show too much of that. Uh, uh, you know, once your jars are filled or whatever, uh, I'll leave it up to you how you how you cook them. <laughs> well. Uh, First thing, make sure that you, you know, clean your jars, wash your jars. And when I bottle them, I use salt pork, and I use uh, two pieces in every bottle. Uh, you know, the table's gonna shake, isn't it? <laughs> uh, see how this goes. But, uh, Start off, I'm just going to put one piece of salt fat back pork in every jar. I'm going to put those four pieces aside for later. And now, what I try to do when I'm bottling rabbit, I try to get like similar in every bottle. So, take a backbone piece, put in that jar, and a backbone piece in that jar, and I get all the bowl of rabbit right here in front of me here. I'm just gonna slip through here. Well, the packs must be on the bottom of the rest of them. Yeah, I can't even see well this one here is now is the back piece with the, the pelvic bone. So I'll put he in that jar. So rob me rabbit I believe. <laughs> There. Another backbone piece there. Oh, that's a, that's a big rabbit. Oh, watch, could be scattered over here, left on it. Double check your rabbit, you know. Another backbone piece right there's another big rabbit off. Get it on his side there a little bit, like that. leg bone piece so you know there's not a lot of meat there in that part so what I'll do is I start to land jointing and that now this piece here I'll, I'll cook tomorrow and this meaty piece will go in the bottle so I'll just remember the this one here already got removed same way with this one here so he won this jar and see, see, any uh, hind leg was in this jar. Now, backbone piece with pelvic bone on goes in this one. See, I keep it the same in every bottle as I put it in there. And another pelvic bone piece right there. So, like that. Legs up here. 
you some of the backbone pieces. Well, that'll be for dinner tomorrow. This way, like you know, when I go to the bush and take a, a, a bottle of rabbit with me, I got a lot of meat, I haven't got a bottle of bones. <laughs> See, like some pieces are bigger than others, so some bottles are going to fill up a little quicker than the others. So, throw that down here, and then I'm going to show you what I do with the front legs. Here's a, Get a few front legs. I got a little bit of water dripping around, but I don't mind a mess because I don't mind cleaning it up. <laughs> Same thing, you know, with these uh, these hind legs, uh, front legs. I mean, uh, there's not a lot of meat on them, but I like really likes the, the shoulder blade. So I think I'll just our bones that I'll be eat up tomorrow and this uh, shoulder blade in the jar right there bother to put the liver uh, in the bottle so I'll keep the liver eat that up tomorrow some of these kidneys oh the kidneys is delicious so I'll throw a couple of kidneys down there throw one down there a couple over here and a heart right there going down there another kidney there that and I shall get the phone <laughs> now piece of Salt pork on top, so I got a piece on the bottom and a piece on the top. thing is some salt. Now I put so between a half and three quarter a, a, a teaspoon and you can salt it to your preference. Oh yeah, I don't put no onion when I bottle up meat because uh, or a rabbit or, uh, is the best thing I like eating coal out of a bottle but it's great in soup or whatever but like if it's bottle seal or anything like that I'll fry out a bit of onion and then put the bottle seal in it so I don't put no onion when I'm bottling it. But I use onion when I warm it up after. The meat takes a nice bit of salt. Okay, so look at that. And a lot's left over. I'm gonna be a real fine meal tomorrow. We got like a lot of the tender boxes and heads and some hind legs and still some backbone pieces and stuff there and liver and hearts and kidneys and oh my a whole lot of goodness in that bowl there. You're going to over tighten your lids down first. Uh, 
this is four bottles. Uh, another day I'll do another four, and another day I'll do another four. If I had a case done up, I'd be happy. Uh, no plan on bottling a big lot, especially when the scarce it gives the year. So, skim in the boiler. Now, what I should do is get a proper boiler for bottling. Uh, for doing battles because sometimes you know they'll dance around a little bit and bang together a little bit and I think some people can put like cardboard between their bottles a little bit so they don't tap together too hard. I'm going old school here today so is it now I'm just trying to lay down here. You don't want to overfill too much first because as the water heats up it'll expand a bit. But Well, just enough. Put the lid on. And I'm just going to put her on six there. I suppose I'll check up. When she comes to a ball, I'll turn her back a bit. Now, doing these four bottles, I got plenty of rabbits, so I could pick and choose what I put in the bottles. But sometimes you may have just barely enough to fill up your bottles. So in that case, then, I would use all of the front leg, the bony parts or whatever. And... Then if I'm getting, really needs a bit more, so it's going to be a little hard to do with the ulu. But uh, sometimes, see real nice meat still on the, the backbone, goes up and along the side of the rib cage. But if you wanted to, you could, I'll show this here. Okay, just, there. I'm just going to cut. See the meat is in the meat right there. Just cut the bones, rib bones off on each side. And that. I can't see the shake here. Apologize for that. But now see, you can add this to your, put this piece in your bottle as well. You got lots of meat because right here now, you know, it's not a lot of, a lot of meat on these little rib bones, but this way, you know, it's a good way to, you haven't got quite enough to, to top up your bottles. But I'm not going to uh, spoil no more rib cages because I'm going to put some stuffing in them tomorrow when I bake up the bread. As well, you know, some people put the heads in the bottle as well, but uh, but I'd rather just have them baked or in soup. But uh, I know that people do it. Uh, I personally wouldn't do it, but... Uh, I just like them too good the other way. Now, uh, just waiting for it to come to a boil, and then when she starts to boil, I'll slowly turn the heat back a little bit. Just once, just keep a nice little, just a little roll and boil, and then I'll start my time, and then I'll cook these for about three hours. When the water level would drop a little bit, I would add a bit of boiling water. Don't add cold water because it could actually break your bottles. So I add a bit of boiling water, and if it dropped a little bit more, I add a little bit more like that. And when the three hours is up, I took them up and just. Just tighten in the stoppers there a little bit, and uh, I didn't want to show no big lot about this because uh, the water bat method is not uh, really recommended. As you know, now they say you should use a, a pressure cooker or whatever, but this is the old-fashioned way. We, uh, we always did it this way, and we never had no trouble with it, and is what I still do. But, but I didn't want to show too much about it because you know I don't know to do 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 to do this and. Have trouble with it. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Really appreciate it. Take care. All the best. Run the big land.